are about 6,000 Asian elephants still in existence in our world today, and Florida is home to 28 of those, and then 12 more are going to be coming really soon. They're from the Ringling Brothers and Barnum and & Bailey Circus, and River City Lives' Rance Adams got an exclusive look inside their Center for Elephant Conservation. It's in Orlando. Lions, tigers, and bears. Oh, my. Those animals and the other attractions that go with the circus had my eyes lit and wide open in my youth. These magnificent beasts were the true draw. Huge, athletic, and remarkably graceful, elephants have been an integral part of circus performing. With it coming to an end at the end of May, where do the elephants go? I'm all about the adventure. I came down to Central Florida to see the largest herd of Asian elephants in the Western Hemisphere. And it's right here at the Center for Elephant Conservation. And there's three R's. We'll have to get into that when we get into the story, okay? Janice Aria gives deeper insight into the three R's. The purpose of the Center for Elephant Conservation is guaranteeing the survival of the endangered Asian elephant. So we focus on research, reproduction, and the general study of the Asian elephant, and then retirement for our, our older showgirls. There's an R, retirement. Housing elephants of all ages, the training center will soon have a full house, which allow for more opportunities for the second R, research. They didn't actually start studying elephants until the 1960s, which really is uh, quite recent. So a lot of the information that we know about elephants have been, uh, has been gathered from our elephants. Because they're trained, because we handle them and can go right up to them and touch them, it gives us the opportunity to learn a lot more than we could from a distance with just cameras. So the training element has contributed tremendous amounts of information to the entire elephant community and therefore guarantees more than anything um, the future of the species. Our major objective here is to do research and to do get information so that way we could better take care of the elephants. Whether it's scientific information for physiology, anatomy, reproduction, we also do behavioral studies and also um, pharmacokinetic studies. And Dr. Wendy Kiso gives us a scoop about the third R, reproduction. We do a lot of studies in reproduction. So here we have the first genetic resource bank. We're trying to preserve an endangered species. And our goal here is to preserve their genetics as long as possible. So we go around the country and clean our goals. We have the largest number, number of males in the Western Hemisphere here at the Center for Elephant Conservation. So it's really important for us to preserve their genetics. So we collect their semen and we freeze it and now we can store it indefinitely. Genetic testing allows the training center to track the elephants and ensure there is no inbreeding. It also helps with their new cancer research program. And this is the first genetic resource bank for elephants right here. Um, and also all this equipment is meant for this purpose of freezing elephants from and then we share with other facilities. So that way if they have a bull that just say if he's related to the rest of the females, we could give him another new source of genetics. And also for the cancer research, we could kind of see maybe the activity of one elephant is better than the other. Then we could follow their genetics to see whether or not in that family line or whether there's a difference between each other. Some might not feel positive about the Elephant Training Center, but rest assured, they are treated like diva rock stars. Their care starts at 6.30 every morning. They're, every elephant is walked from their barn. They're all housed in the barn at night. They're walked from the barn out to one of their yards. Uh, they hang out there all day. They're also exercised every day. And then late in the afternoon, they're all walked back to a wash pad where they are. So every inch of them is scrubbed. Every inch of every of the 28 elephants here is scrubbed every day. And that's an opportunity for our handlers to really examine them very intimately and make sure that uh, that, for instance, that there are no stones embedded in their feet. They're very carefully examined, and then they're uh, fed again uh, for the evening, afternoon feed. Then they're fed again at 6.30, fed again at 8.30, and fed again at 11.30. They eat a lot and all the time. The wild as we imagine it has eroded, marking another area where the training center benefits elephants. This incredible species, the largest land mammal right after the African elephant, um, is perilously close to extinction. And you have to impose an intellect over the emotion uh, to realize that we have to contribute to their survival. Man has to care for these animals because the wild that we all want to envision has diminished to the point of non-existence. So we have to continue to educate ourselves about these animals and then to continue to care for them to keep the species going. However you feel about elephants performing in the circus, know that they will be well taken care of for many years to come. I'm Rance Adams reporting for River City Live.
my gosh, how cute. I think he's going to go yes. down there now. And Rance was on yesterday talking a little bit about his, his uh, trip down there and just saying that, you know, they really are treated like rock stars. Mm -hmm. So that's good.